Oppo recently announced their brand new Oppo Enco W51 through wireless earphones with a few, I would say, special features. So we've already got this for quite some time actually, but today we're going to take a look at what it actually offers and how good it is against the competitors. So by looking at the box here, at the back, it says that this pair of TWS has hybrid active noise cancellation, Qi wireless charging, binaural low latency transmission, which we'll have to test for sure, and then IP54 rated as well. So opening up, yeah, we got this little compartment for all the documentation and the earphone itself, which pops up like this. Whoop, okay. And then another compartment. Okay, all of this is for your different sizes of ear tips and also your charging cable, which we will try later. The case itself for the earbuds is pretty standard. And at first glance, I can say that this case here is pretty wide, but it's very thin. There's a USB Type-C port at the back for charging. Yeah, there's also another pairing button here. They do look kind of weird though. They got this kind of oblong shape ear tips here. Actually, I do see quite a lot of brands is moving into this oblong ear tip shape because it does give you a better seal around your ear, which actually means better comfort and also potentially better noise isolation. So by looking at the earbuds themselves, we can see this thing is pretty basic. You have a microphone at the bottom of the stem here and then a proximity sensor on this side and that's pretty much it. That's all you get for this ear tip and one thing I want to highlight here is that this thing looks very different compared to the Oppo Enco 3 that we reviewed early this year. I mean it does have some similarities but again this is a closed design instead of that open design. And when we put in the ear, that definitely didn't fit so now we'll go back to the ear tip sizes which they pack in a really nice case. Okay. For me, I think I will straight go to the XS size because my ear is not really that big. So as seen here, they give you extra L, S and XS sizes. So the pre-installed one is M size. That's done. Let me just plug it in again. Okay, much better fit. Uh, immediately, I think they did turn on ANC because I can't hear anything outside. And user manual, quick start guide, safety guide. Okay, let me just see what's available here. I mean in terms of features, how to activate them and all of those stuff. Um, the tapping area is on this part here. So the tap controls on the Oppo Enco W51 here. You can double tap on the right earbud to play your pause. To turn off noise isolation, double tap on the left side instead. And then to answer your calls, wake up assistant, all of those stuff is pretty much self-explanatory. So I would say it's a real basic one if you want to do some controls on your earbuds. So the reason why we changed the ear tips to match perfectly with my ear size is because ANC in this kind of design is really important to create a proper seal around your ear because any type of leakage will confirm to be screwing up with your ANC experience. So let me just turn the ANC on. For a uh, true wireless earbuds like this, I would say the ANC is real good. There's no weird hissing sound or whatnot, but since it's raining outside, I can still hear some of it with my ears. So, um, not the best in terms of ANC, but I can understand why because of my weird ear shape, but it's, it's still a really good performing ANC anyway. And as for sound quality, this thing can go really loud and they sound really good. And there's also a proximity sensor here, so when you take out one side, it will detect that you have taken out and then it will automatically play your pause of music accordingly. Overall, really basic set of features. I mean, the whole main selling point about the Encore W51 is the ANC feature, which I think is really good. And in terms of sound quality, I mean, the Oppo Encore 3 already sounded good, so this one actually sounds better. I would say because of its close design, that means you can have better noise isolation and bass is good, vocals is good. I mean, it's playing Taylor Swift right now. Vocals is good. So my immediate reaction when wearing the Oppo Enco W51 is that 
Even if you don't use the ANC feature, everything sounds really nice. I mean, I don't expect less from Oppo because they used to have another subdivision that makes all of these audio devices. I mean, they were specialized with those devices before Oppo decided to merge it with their other divisions as well. And speaking of which, you can actually charge this thing wirelessly. If you have your phone with reverse wireless charging, you can charge this thing as well because why not? Overall, really impressive. I mean, yeah, it, it might look like nothing special, but it actually sounds really good. So for the price of 369 I would say the Oppo Enco W51 is definitely premium. I mean, this thing is a really piece of solid glossy plastic. Everything just looks nice, feels nice, and it also sounds nice. In terms of feature, it's pretty much similar to the Enco 3, but then now you just have ANC. And again, that's the main selling point. So for the price of 369 I would say if you want something like this, it's definitely worth it because since it's really sounding this good, you don't really need an app to configure anything anyway. Um, yeah, it's good. And if you want to hear the microphone test, here you go. This is how the microphone on the Oppo Enco W51 actually sounds. And by looking at the waveform, I think it's good. And overall, I would say that this pair of true wireless earbuds is just impressive. And that's it. That's all we have to say about the Oppo Enco W51. And we'll see you in the next video. This thing is impressive though.